What's going on everybody? Dato Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters themed video. Right away I want to apologize for not uploading for a few days, as I wanted to take a couple days off to play in the beta. Before I start today's video though, I do want to thank Red Giant for sharing my video on the Dragon Ball Fighters subreddit, and all of the people that came over from there and have since started watching my videos. Also Kane, I did want to address that I will be making that video on how to get better at 2D fighters, and I do want to make sure that comes out fairly soon. With the introductions out of the way though, we can go ahead and start the video that's going to be covering some of my favorite combos that I've seen so far in the open beta. All of these combos have been taken from Twitter, and the person that uploaded them should appear in the video, as well as in the description with a timestamp of their combo and a link to their Twitter page. Let's start off with my favorite character in the franchise, Krillin. This combo comes from Yuri FGC, who was actually the first person I saw to have a template for Krillin and his combos that other people followed. So I think the way we're going to show off these combos is that I'll play them piece by piece and describe what's going on in the combo itself, and then I'll show it to you in one big piece so that you can appreciate these combos in motion. So this combo starts out pretty basic and has some fundamentals that you'll want to learn if you want to do longer combos and fighters. At first Krillin runs in and performs a 2M, which he then follows with a 5M. 5M can be cancelled with a jump, which allows Krillin to jump into the air and follow Gohan without using his dash. This is crucial because it allows Krillin to save his dash for another point in the combo, which allows him to maximize his damage. You'll notice here in the air, when Krillin does his 5M, he again jump cancels it into another 5M. Again, this is another point in maximizing his damage by jump canceling moves and then repeating them. This next part of the combo is where things start to get really insane. By using this move that's not listed in his move list, which I believe is 2S or 2 Special, I'm not sure what we're calling the buttons now. It's down plus key blast is what I'm saying. But regardless, by doing this move he's able to knock Gohan down a little, while also knocking him back up giving Krillin enough time to hit him with the dash that he saved by jump cancelling his moves earlier. He then performs this same move again, giving Krillin enough time to hit him with an after image strike, and at the same time as he did that move, he also called in his Goku assist, meaning it was perfectly timed so that when he hit him with the after image strike, Goku's Kamehameha would pick him up. This is important because it allows Krillin to touch the ground again, giving him another dash to continue the combo even further. After that it's pretty much the same rotation we saw the first time, only this time he smashes him up, tagging in Team Gohan at the same time, allowing Team Gohan to get off his level 5 ultimate, which leads to them knocking out Gohan. This next clip comes from Tatsunical, who you might be familiar with if you watch the other videos I have on this channel, but this is actually a 77% damage Krillin combo using the combo route we just viewed before, and I wanted to show this clip because it utilizes the DHC mechanic, which I want newcomers to be aware of. So what you do in this scenario is when you're doing a super with Krillin, you input your assist super and hit that assist button, and they'll come in and do their super as well. This next clip comes from Yahozi FGC, and it's not a combo per se, but I did want to cover it simply because of how cool it looks. It's a three-way Goku mix-up where Goku can land on the same side as he attacked you from, a cross-up, or even a double cross-up. Now I shouldn't have to explain why this is so crazy, just look at how confusing it is. Now if you watch my terms to cover video you know why mix-ups are so powerful, so I won't waste any more time on this clip, but really you should pay attention to this, as I think it's going to be pretty important in high level play. Just another example of how the last character with Sparking Blast can be really dangerous, because Sparking Blast is what allows Goku to cancel his Key Blast into a dash like this, otherwise known as a dash cancel. And speaking of Sparking Blast making you able to cancel your Key Blast by dashing, we bring you this 100% Goku loop combo, which utilizes 7 bars and Sparking Blast in order to kill the opponent in one touch. Now the touch of death part of this combo isn't really as important because of how many resources you need, but when you watch the combo you'll see how much raw damage this guy can get off with this one mechanic, and the loop that Goku's able to do with it, and one bar which allows Goku to do his super kamehameha. When all is said and done it looks like it does at least 65-70% to 70 of his health, with just one bar, sparking blast, and having the opponent in a corner. I think with just those three things need being needed for setup, I think this makes it a powerful tool for Goku players to want to learn.
This next combo is another Krillin combo, and I think it's one of the more optimal on this list, as it only uses one bar, and it does a ton of damage, without even needing assist. So I think there's a lot of room to try stuff out here in this combo, and again, it uses that same core Krillin combo concept from the earlier combo, so I think everybody out there that really wants to play Krillin should at least dedicate themselves to learning this core concept. The last combo for this video is going to be a Goku cross-up combo, simply because of how useful cross-ups are, so I think everybody should at least get one cross-up character for their combo. What? I meant everybody should get one cross-up combo for their character. When everything's said and done, I don't think this one would even take too much time to learn. So yeah, if you're a Goku player, definitely take this one into account. And I think that's just about it for my favorite combos from the open beta. Now remember, we only have Goku, Krillin, and Gohan combos right now because they were the only one in the trial mode. When the full game drops, you can expect everybody on this list to be coming out with insane new combos for all sorts of characters. So definitely go and give everyone on this list a follow, and make sure you stay in touch with the Dragon Ball Fighters community page, as I'm sure a lot of people will be discovering new combos every day for some of your favorite characters. I'm really interested to hear of your favorite moment from the beta, so if you want to leave me a comment, go ahead and do so. I'll be down there as always. And while you're down there, if you liked the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next one.